That is awesome. Yeah. Put the sunscreen in. Dad, what in the world? Oh, like, it was going to <laughs> What is this? What is this? What is this? What is it? What is it? To magic. Oh, 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 magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 10 magic pranks for summer. <laughs> Summertime. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Okay, this one is super cool. It's the magic watermelon prank. Take a look. Cut this melon up. What in the world? What is this? <laughs> Did it go bad? Let's cut it. Whoa. What? what is that? It's a rainbow. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's cut a slice out of it. Whoa. That is awesome. Look at all the different layers. Red at the bottom, then orange, yellow, green, blue, then purple. You can actually cut slices too. How neat is that? Okay, here is the secret behind this crazy prank. Okay guys, so here is the explanation to the magic watermelon prank. The first thing you need is a watermelon. Second thing you need is some different colors of jello. I recommend getting the jello jigglers because the jello is a little bit thicker and holds together better when you cut the watermelon. You also need a big knife to cut your watermelon open and you need a melon baller or a spoon. And you wanna try and cut this exactly in half. We're gonna split it in half just like that. Now you're gonna take a bowl and you're gonna scoop out all of the melon. Use a melon baller because it's probably gonna work a little bit better. And start scooping the melon out like this. It does take a while, so you might want to use a big spoon or you could even use an ice cream scoop. So continue scooping your watermelon out until you're all the way down to the rind. That means to where all the red part is gone and you're all the way down to the white part so that the melon is completely hollowed out. Now once you've got the melon completely hollowed out on both sides, you're gonna take your jello and you're gonna add it layer by layer. You're gonna mix up your jello and pour the first layer in. You want to let this set for a couple hours in the refrigerator so that the jello sets up before you pour in the next layer. But depending on how many layers, how many different colors of jello that you use, use like three colors, you can have this done in a matter of five or six hours. If you want to do a bunch of different colors like we did, it can take all day long. So make sure you let the jello cure for the recommended amount of time before you pour the next layer in. Once the jello is fully firmed up, you can remove it from the refrigerator and you're ready to go for your prank. So now that they're cured, you're going to take your two halves of the melon and fit them back together. You want to find the exact edge that you cut with your knife so that they can fit back together perfectly. As you can see, when you pour the different layers at different times and you let them set up, you're able to create this really cool rainbow layer effect. This is just a really cool thing that you could do at home, or you can make it into a prank and prepare a watermelon like we did to prank somebody. Mm. <laughs> is it good? That's weird because it's not what you're expecting. So cool. As you can see with the light behind it, you really get an idea of the different layers of color in here. It's so amazing. Look at that. So pretty. Almost like a work of art. Edible art. Really cool. As you can see, because you let the layers cure between each pour, you can actually separate them. See all the different layers of jello that went into this. Watermelon. And that is how you do the magic watermelon prank. For this one, you're gonna really freak some people out at the beach or the pool. Take a look. And take the sunscreen and Dad, what in the... <laughs> That's so cool. <gasps> Ava! <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Is this a screen? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what you need to set up this prank. A bottle of sunscreen, something to empty it out onto, and some white string. The string is going to mimic the stream of sunscreen. So we're going to cut a piece of string about this long, and we're going to tie a knot on one end. Your next step is to empty out the sunscreen bottle. Once you've got the bulk of the sunscreen emptied out, the next step is to rinse the bottle thoroughly in the sink. Now that you've got this rinsed out, you're going to load the string into the bottle. Then you're going to thread the string through the nozzle of the cap. So once you have it threaded through, you're then going to tie this into a knot, just like this. 
and this is gonna stop it from going back through the nozzle. If you wanna double knot this or triple knot this, even quadruple it, so that the knot is big enough to keep it from going back through, just like that. You want it to be a little stopper for it. Perfect. Load it in and screw the cap on. And now when you squeeze the bottle, it'll shoot the string out and it'll make it look like you're squirting sunscreen on them. It works just like those prank ketchup and mustard bottles, but it's a homemade version. So as you saw in the performances, you can either squirt this at somebody or make them think that you're eating it. Super easy magic prank that's perfect for summertime. And that is how you do the magic edible sunscreen prank. Okay, this one is a classic and it is also a great one to do at the beach or the pool. This is the magic flying shark. Okay, so this is pretty self-explanatory, but here's the mechanics behind the flying shark. You need a helium tank. These are available at pretty much any party store. And you also need a giant inflatable shark. Let's fill this thing up with helium. So once you have your shark inflated with helium, you're gonna attach each one of its fins using the included little sticky pads. And he also has a tail fin motor that powers it through the air. So it has a little remote control that'll wave the tail fin back and forth and power it forward. So all you have to do is creep up behind somebody at the pool or the beach and give them a nice shark scare. <laughs> and that is the magic flying shark prank. This is one I first saw as a kid and it blew my mind. It would be a great one to do at a summer picnic. Check it out. Hold this real quick. Yeah? You don't drop them, okay? Okay. What are these? What are these? <gasps> Are these moving, Evan? Is this moving? Is this moving? <laughs> is that a bug? What are these? Evan, what are these? Oh my God. What is that? <laughs> what is that? They're jumping beans. They're magic jumping beans. Are they... you moving them? Oh my gosh, you're jumping. That is, is there something inside of them? What? Will you just tell me what they are? Okay, here's the secret behind this crazy prank. So these are actually called jumping beans. It's a special type of rare bean, and what makes it move is a type of moth larva that's laid inside the bean. So this moth lays its egg inside these little beans, and the movement of the bean, it reacts to the heat of your hand. When you put the bean in someone's hand, it will begin to jump and move around, just like these ones over here are doing, because of the sunlight. The heat of the sunlight is causing them to move. You'll see them start moving here in a second. There they go. Now, what's actually happening happening is the larva is trying to find a cold place because it's reacting to the heat it wants to get away from it them jumping around is them trying to get away from the heat of your hand in this case the heat of the sun so these ones have already hatched into the little moths so crazy I got these as a kid as a Christmas gift from my uncle and they absolutely blew my mind it really just seems like they are magically moving by themselves or like you're controlling it with your mind it really seems like they are coming to life in your hand they really weird feeling so the heat of your hand will cause them to move and jump around. Really cool prank that you can do in the summertime and it's all done by nature. The jumping is a survival instinct. The larva does not like heat, which dehydrates and kills. They jump to find a cool, damp place to survive until spring. And that is the secret behind the magic jumping bean. Here's a fun prank to cool off your friends on a hot summer day. Check it out. Where'd you even get that? So this is called a water wubble. It's the new hit thing from the wubble people. We've used wubble bubbles in past videos. So this thing is really cool. It's like a reusable water balloon. So it's got like a nozzle that you can just fill with water. Fills up like that. And then when you hit somebody, <laughs> then you can instantly take it, refill it and throw it again. What's really cool about this is it's a self-sealing valve. So once you fill it with water, it automatically seals itself. You don't have to tie the water balloon. And once it pops, you can instantly refill it. I can't believe those got that big. Hey, Evan Aaron TV, man. Y'all go ahead and follow me. Okay. I'm having some trouble with my wobbles. <laughs> 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 Super fun prank that can last all summer. And that is the magic everlasting water balloon prank. For this one, you're gonna use the power of the sun to make people think you have psychic abilities. Watch this. This is really cool. Uh, I can actually move this thing inside here with the power of my mind. You think I can do it? Mm -hmm. Yes, you think I can? Yeah. I love your faith in me. So we've got this little light bulb contraption. I'm gonna try and move this thing in here with the power of my mind. Check this out. Sit it down. Oh, like it was going 
slow and then it went faster. It's getting faster, watch. Here's an explanation of this amazing prank. Okay, so prank is, I'm actually not moving this with the power of my mind. It's actually the sunlight that makes it move. See how each one of these is black and white on one side? The black side absorbs the sun and the white side repels it. So it causes it to spin inside. The power of sunlight. So you can only really do this in summer on like a really sunny day. You can adjust the speed of it by casting a shadow over it and it'll actually slow down. This is called a radiometer and the sun makes it run. The veins in the radiometer are dark and light in color. The dark veins absorb the rays, the light veins reflect the rays. So as the white ones reflect it, it pushes it forward, and the black ones kind of pull it. All working with the power of the sun. Isn't that amazing? It's like shaking it going so fast. I uh, know. If you get it in direct sunlight, it will spin extremely fast. So as long as there is sunlight on it, it will just continue to spin perpetually. Like this will go all day long. I wonder what would happen if you had like a light that was even brighter than this. Yeah, like a heat lamp. Yeah, I wonder if it would spin so fast it breaks. <laughs> and that is the secret behind the magic radiometer. Okay, this one is a classic prank that you can do at the pool. Check it out. Evan, can you put this on my back? Yes. Here's what you need to pull off this prank. The secret to this one is all found right in the palm of your hand. So this is a classic hand buzzer prank. It's not electric, it's actually wind up. You just take this thing and wind it up like this. And it's got this little clip on the back that you can slide onto your finger, just like that. Now you can conceal it in the palm of your hand and whenever you press on it, it makes like a shocking vibration sound and feeling on the person who you do it to. So you wind this up, somebody asks you to put lotion on their back at the pool or the beach. You go, oh yeah, I got you. Get a handful of lotion and then press it onto their back and watch them jump. This is normally a classic that's used for handshake pranks. Ooh. You can totally repurpose it and do it on somebody's back. You can totally repurpose it and do it on somebody's back or shoulder and give them a good jolt. And that is how you do the electric sunscreen prank. For this one, you're gonna prank someone into thinking they're seeing a UFO. Take a look. What is that? What is, is that a UFO? Maybe I'm crazy. I have to Snapchat this though. Okay, here is the secret behind this insane prank. I first saw this performed online by someone who claimed they could actually summon UFOs, that they could summon aliens. So I set out to disprove that that was real, and here's the secret behind the prank. So you're going to get one of these giant weather balloons. We've also got our tank of helium here, and we're gonna fill up the weather balloon and release it. So once you have the weather balloon inflated with helium, you're gonna tie it off like that. So once you have the balloon filled with helium and tied off, you're going to release it and let people's imaginations run wild. And that is how you do the magic UFO prank. For this one, you're going to take our ice cream punch cone and turn it into a fun summer surprise. Take a look. Hey dad, I have a little emoji that I made out of a sponge ball. Oh, nice. Here's your setup for this fun summer prank. It's what you need for this funny magic prank. An ice cream punch cone, available at evanairtv.com, some stick on googly eyes, and a marker. So the key to this is really just holding the ice cream punch cone in a position where it conceals the cone part and it kind of just looks like a sponge ball. This kind of just looks like a yellow sponge ball like the red ones that we sell in the shop. You say to your spectator, check this out, I'm gonna magically turn my sponge ball into an emoji. So you're gonna pick out a couple eyeballs that look good size. Let's go with those right there. Just peel the adhesive backing off and then you can stick it onto the cone. So you hold your punch cone like this, concealing the cone part, with your finger on the lever ready to deploy the punch. So you say, watch, I can turn my sponge ball into an emoji and you just stick one of your little eyes right there. Another one right there. So Say, look, I can turn my sponge ball into an emoji. And they're like, oh, cool. And then, 
and give them a funny surprise. So the ice cream cone is spring loaded. You press this down and it locks into place. There's this string attached to it that you hide inside. Just like this. Got a hole in the top right here. It slides down onto this. We'll post and then when you press the button right here, it pops off. It's made out of a soft foam material so it won't hurt and the string attached keeps it from going too far and you from losing the top. A really funny prank, you can use the ice cream punch cone for a lot of different pranks. Get yours today and prank your friends and family this summer. And if they get mad, tell them don't get angry, laugh at life. And that is how you do the magic emoji prank. Okay, for this one you're gonna create the illusion of it snowing in the middle of the summer. Take a look. Hot and humid today, a lot of moisture in the air. Wouldn't it be cool if I could take some of the moisture out of the air and turn it into snow. <laughs> that is pretty snowy! Here's the secret behind this crazy illusion. Here are the items that you need to pull off this prank. An oriental fan. And the really special thing are these little packs right here. These are your magic snowstorm packs. They're tiny little pieces of paper. They're almost like little confetti packs. And if you look closely, they're wrapped in plastic. But when you separate this, all these tiny little pieces of paper come out and as you fan them up in the air, it looks like a snowstorm is happening. Just a flurry of paper. Very cool prank. Makes it look like it's snowing in the middle of summer. They're really cool. One of my favorite effects of all time. If you look close, these are really, really thin, almost like tracing paper thin pieces of paper. And there's hundreds, maybe even thousands of them in one pack. Crazy, look how many there are. Now what you want to do is conceal one of these packs in your hand before the trick starts. Now stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to be giving some of these packs away to some of the comments in the comments section. In addition to that, I'm gonna be giving away the ice cream punch cones from the shop. So stay tuned to the end for the giveaway. I'll be picking random comments and giving some of these away too. So you wanna take this and conceal it in your hand just like this. And you have your fan over here. Say, watch, I can create a snowstorm in the middle of summer. And all you do is pop this open in your hand. You're just gonna press your finger into the middle and it's gonna push those pieces of paper out. It's just a piece of plastic ring going around around the outside, it's holding them in there. And as you push them out onto the fan, you do this, the wind of the fan will kick up the little pieces of paper and make it look like a magical snowstorm. Quick tip, this trick is best done outside because it does make quite a mess. Walking in a winter wonderland. Snow in the summer. So easy, a kid can do it. And that is how you do the magic summer snowstorm prank. All right, guys, if you liked all those magic pranks, be sure to head over to EvanEraTV.com, check out all the gear, and pick yourself up an ice cream punch cone so that you can do the prank yourself. All right, guys, if you have a Facebook account, go follow me on Facebook. There's a link in the description for that. I have new videos coming daily, so be sure to like the page and check out all the daily content. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away 10 magic punch cones. All you have to do to win is give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Today's keyword is summer. So give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, leave as many comments as you want. The more comments that you leave on the video, the better your chances of winning. All right, guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a message on YouTube to claim your prize. Congratulations to our winners. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing, and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments below. All right, guys, if you are new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get all our notifications. You can check out the shop by clicking right down here. You can also check out my vlog channel. It's my other channel on YouTube. A lot of cool videos posted there, too. Check out another one of my videos right over here. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.